Welcome to the SatCord Beam Viewer tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how you can use SatCord to view Jim's beam data and also some of the other options you have available to you in the Beam Viewer. In order to view Jim's beam data inside SatCord you need to have the ITU Jim software installed and functional on your machine. You can find out more information and download Jim's by visiting the relevant ITU website. A link is provided in the description below this video. The GIMS database is contained on the IFIC DVD and must be set up and operating within the ITU GIM software before you can use SatCore to view this data. Once you have set this up, you can send Beam data to the Beam Viewer from an SNS database browsing tab. So firstly, I will open the SOS database I have on my local machine by clicking on the Browse menu item and then selecting the SOS database. Next, you should browse to the data you wish to send to the Beam Viewer. In this example, I will perform a Notice Admin search and then choose the UK Administration and search for notice satellite name. I wish to send the data associated with this particular satellite name to the Beam Viewer. To do this we should click on the Beam Plot icon in the toolbar. In the Beam Plotter tab on the left hand side you can see the data which has been imported from the SOS database and on the right hand side a projection of the Earth. When you import data from an SNS database, a parent node is added to the tree on the left hand side which is given a name to indicate where it came from and by default is linked to the GIMS reference database. This item is then populated with every notice included in the data which was sent to the Beam Viewer. In this particular case there are four notices associated with the administration and satellite name we selected. There is an API, a coordination request, due diligence information and a notification notice. If we select one of these notices, for example the coordination request notice, the Earth on the right hand side automatically centers on the orbital location of the notice. If we expand the notice we can see all of the beams contained in that notice, again that match the data sent from the SNS database. If we choose a particular beam then the gain contour and service area diagrams associated with that beam will be automatically displayed on the Earth taken from the GIMS reference database. If you expand the beam, you can see the diagrams that have been found associated with that beam. For this beam, we have a gain contour, a one service area diagram. As you can see, each time I select a specific diagram, that diagram is displayed on the Earth on the right hand side. Whenever we select a node in the tree at the beam level or below, SACCORD automatically displays all of the children diagrams where possible. So for example when we select the beam it displays all gain contour and all service area diagrams contained in that beam. Since gain GSO diagrams are displayed on a separate diagram these are only displayed by selecting them individually. Now let me talk a little bit about the beam plot. As you move your mouse over the surface of the earth information is presented on the status bar associated with the current mouse location. So for example at the current location I can see the copolar gain associated with the displayed gain contour is minus 0.83 dB. We are inside the service area and the latitude, longitude, administration, country code and IT region associated with the location are also displayed. It is also possible to change the projection of the Earth. You can choose between a satellite view projection, which is the currently displayed projection, a plaque Coray projection, a Mercator projection or Lambert projection. You can also pan or move the view position associated with the projection. To pan, you can either press the pan icon in the toolbar or hold the shift key and then click on the projection and drag the mouse side to side or up and down to pan the view. To move the view position associated with the projection, you can either press the move view position icon in the toolbar or hold the control key and then click on the projection and drag the mouse side to side or up and down to move the view position. You can zoom in and out with the zoom in and out buttons on the toolbar here or alternatively zoom in and out by scrolling with the mouse wheel. If you wish to reset the view to the default position, you can press the reset view button or alternatively press your third mouse button or press your mouse wheel. The other options available in the toolbar are copy, which copies the currently displayed beam plot to the clipboard so you can easily paste it into a document or report. The AA button toggles anti-aliasing on or off and HQ toggles high quality mode on or off. The Show Legend toolbar button toggles whether the legend is displayed in the plot or not. By default this is turned on. Now let me talk about some of the options we have with dealing with the data in the Beam Plotter tab. 
If we select the gain contour diagram we are viewing, we have a number of options available to us. We can change the gym settings, i.e. change the diagram this data is pointing to, to another gym's gain contour. We can import the data to a custom diagram. Custom diagrams are useful if we wish to edit beams, and there is more on this in the Beam Gain Contour Editing tutorial. We can export the diagram to a GXT format file, which can be easily imported into either SACCORD or GYMS. We can open the Gain Contour in GYMS. And lastly, we can perform a comparison between this Gain Contour diagram and any other Gain Contour diagram we have displayed in our Beam Plotter tab. Let me show you an example of using the Beam comparison. Let us assume we wish to see the differences between the Gain Contour diagram associated with Beam T3R, which looks like this, and the Gain Contour diagram associated with TKC, which looks like this. In order to perform the comparison, pick the first gain contour diagram you wish to compare, so in this case the diagram associated with beam T3R, and then click on the compare toolbar icon and choose other beam. In the dialog that is opened, we should choose the other gain contour diagram we wish to compare, so we should choose the gain contour diagram associated with beam TKC and then click on OK. SATCORD will then generate the gain contour value at many points on Earth for both beams and perform a comparison plot and display this view. This map plots values of the gain of T3R minus the gain of TKC. So in this case areas of green relate to the lowest values of the difference and areas of red relate to the highest values of the difference. As we move our mouse over the map the gain values are displayed in the status bar, with the gain values of beam T3R shown first and beam TKC shown second. If we are interested in the specific locations of the worst or best cases, we can select from these icons in the toolbar, the first showing the maximum positive difference, i.e. maximising beam T3R gain minus beam TKC gain. In this example the location and the maximum positive difference is shown. Alternatively, we can look up the maximum negative difference, i.e. minimising beam T3R gain minus beam TKC gain. In this example, the location and the maximum negative difference is again shown. This map gives you a visual representation of the comparison between the beams and is very useful if you are trying to construct a beam which is within the envelope of an existing beam. Thank you for watching. This ends the Beam Viewer tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact us using the information in the description below.